expected. Could these mummies be the parents of King Tut? Nefertiti and the Lost Dynasty premieres Monday at 9 on Channel 162, the National Geographic Channel. We're back with the American prospects as recline. Congressional quarterlies Jonathan Allen and former Republican candidate for Pennsylvania and governor and the slowest talking member of the Mass Youth family, <laughs> Jim Matthews. Good job. <laughs> Next up, Vitter missing in action since revelations of his patronage to a D.C. escort service. Republican Senator David Vitter has been ducking and covering. His really news comes in a week when the Senate is fiercely debating a wide range of proposals on the Iraq war. What would happen if Vitter's absence turns out to be a decisive vote in a key vote on the war? Will Republicans revolt and show him the door? Jim Matthews, Philadelphia. Uh, what are they saying in Philadelphia about David Vitter, if anything? What do Republicans have to say about this guy? Uh, in a way, I guess you blame it on Bush, but uh, I would have to say seriously that uh, they don't want to see our position in the Senate at all compromised right now. These are very serious times, and I can't help it. I'm sorry. When I hear Larry Flint dined on this fellow, and I, I think back to the years back in the 70s with Jimmy Carter and his uh, interview in Playboy where he was lusting after women in his heart. Now, granted, Jimmy Carter didn't leave his phone number with God when he was lusting in his heart. But, I mean, this is, this is to me, uh, it's a shame. It's an incident that I'm sure everybody wishes did not happen. But it was three years before the gentleman took his seat in the Senate, and I think we have some very serious business that you've been talking about for the last 50 minutes that demands full attention and full vote. You know, Jim Matthews is absolutely right. When you consider the fact that they're debating the war in Iraq in the, both the House and the Senate right now, and this guy uh, missing in action thus far, th th this could be crucial to the Republicans. Right. I, mean, I, mean, could be, I assume they can call him back if, if it gets to that. But I don't know. To some degree, I feel like you're exactly right. What are we doing here? Why do we? I, I care this, more. He's going to sound good, but why does this matter so much, right? This is a Louisiana politician who we are now accusing of ethical indiscretions, and simply on the list of David Vitter's harm to the country, this I wouldn't even put in the top ten. Right. I feel more concerned. Well, uh, you know, like the the one thing in terms of the policy that's being discussed right now, it takes 60 votes to do anything in the Senate. Him being a member of the minority party actually lessens his impact a little bit right. because him being absent is the same as him voting no for all practical purposes at this point. Jim, but talk about the obscenity of this. And I mean, as we just meant, I mean, the, the idea that the war in Iraq is going on, where funerals are being held across this country on nearly a daily basis, and we're talking about David Vitter and some hooker? I'll tell you right now, I will lead the charge nationally against Vitter if Bill Clinton comes out, and he's my Yoda on this, all right, on this moral question. If Bill Clinton comes out and says he's got to go from the Senate, he can't do his job after that transgression, I'll lead the charge. So let's get serious. If, and, and, what is it about this city that it's so obsessed with sex scandals as opposed to the reality, the, the, the war-based reality? This is a country at war. Mm -hmm. It's, just, it's a lot well, more than this country. Well, it's, I mean, it's out there. I mean, you, it's, it's out there to be reported and discussed. And, of course, it's not just the, the city. I mean, I think the country is interested when something like this happens, maybe not for a week or a month at a time, but certainly immediately. This is an interesting sex scandal because it involves a hooker. The reason politicians might see hookers is because they're discreet, generally speaking. And you don't pay them to come home with you if you're a politician and you're rich. You pay them to leave in the morning. Of course, you could also make the claim that there's a form of uh, prostitution going on in the city each and every day with lots of yeah, this. this is my, this is what I think is more interesting about it, that this is the type of prostitution we're looking at when he pays a hooker and not when the oil company pays David Vitter. Yeah. It's a little bit <laughs> absurd. What's amazing is we don't allow. What's amazing is the cost of these things, $300 an hour for a hooker, but it costs $1,000 an hour to get into a pack fundraiser for Vitter. Personally, like right? a $400 haircut. The, we'll the, spend much more there's time There's no on that. easy segue here. It's personal on my work. part. I just, I don't, I don't like to give the French a reason to giggle at us. And, and they have to giggle at us if we make this a big issue. Oh, that's and good. It's wrong but what happened, but I'm not, you know, enough. Well, so we're going, we're going from hookers to the to religion. <laughs> Obama's religious edge. New poll from Time Magazine out this week shows that voters believe Mitt Romney is the candidate of strongest faith in the 08 election, but right behind him is Democrat Barack Obama. Remember this moment from earlier in the campaign? Welcome to my house. Uh, if, uh, I could put it that way. There is one thing I got to say, Sam, though. Uh, this is my house, too. This is God's house. So I, I just want to 
I just want to be clear. And after Obama, John Edwards comes in third, John McCain fourth, then Bill Clinton.